Hey guys, I hope you are doing well. I hope you are ready for the new week. I hope you had a good weekend actually. Mine was okay. It was just kind of boring because I was just chilling at home. But besides that, um, and I watched my favorite show again and again, it is Succession at this moment. I guess I watched that like five times so far and it's a good one. Um, I suggest everyone to just watch it at least one one time so uh but besides that everything was okay and i'm ready for the new chapter which is going to be chapter four so let me yes we have chapter four here today we're going to talk about health promoting behavior it's going to be basically uh, based on chapter three um like in chapter three we already talked about like different habits and here we're going to talk about how we can just keep those habits and how these habits can just impact in our everyday like life health like physical mental and social health first of all we're going to talk about exercise second of all we're going to talk about accident prevention then we're going to talk about vaccination and screening and we're going to talk about sun safety practices I highlighted that because today I forgot to put on my sunscreen. I normally do that even like in rainy days, but today I forgot. You know that um, sunscreen actually can help you a lot to just have a good skin and also it's going to prevent uh, skin cancer. So it's just very important. Developing a healthy diet is going to be important as well. Good sleep, very important, and rest, renewal, and savoring, they are all very important as well. First of all, I'm going to talk about exercise, which can help you a lot to have a good mental and physical health. Um, we already said that health is going to be at least based on three different angles. Number one going to be social, I mean physical, number two going to be mental, and number three going to be social. Here, your book say, um, says that exercise is going to help you with physical and mental one but as we are moving forward you can see that it's going to help you a lot with social health as well your book actually talk uh, is talking about aerobic exercises because uh there there is so many research on aerobics um in general they say that i mean they actually recommend that having like two to five hours um per week moderate um intensity aerobic exercise can help you a lot um if you don't have time even one to two hours with like high intensity gonna help you a lot with like maintaining a good mental and physical health but i'm as your professor as your teacher i would just saying you even like 10 minutes walk every day can just help you a lot to just maintain a good uh, physical mental and social uh, health because uh, like any sort of physical activity can be helpful for us, right? Because we are human, we need to just be always just in move. We always need to be motivated and exercise is a good way to just actually motivate us. Um, so in general, it seems like based on research, which you can just see citations here at the bottom, it seems like exercise can help us a lot to control weight. It can reduce um, the risk of cardiovascular disease, type 2 diabetes, um, risk of some cancers. Um, of course, exercise is just so good. It can actually increase our uh, muscle and bones health and efficiency of heart. Benefits of regular exercise is, um, I mean, they are a lot, right? First of all, improve, uh, exercise is going to improve your sleep pattern. I can talk about myself, literally this one, like this girl, it was me because of my work and also just managing my personal life and all that. I really, I, I had a hard time to just uh, sleep well, but after just picking up um, like daily running and daily workout, I'm just getting so tired, seriously, to the point that I'm going to go to sleep at 10 p.m. or I mean, if it is weekend, it's going to be 12 midnight, but um, like regular exercise can help you a lot to maintain a good sleep pattern. If you are having lack of sleep at some point, literally your body is going to tell you, hey, I need more sleep. Give me more sleep. So um, an exercise can help you a lot to just um, listen to your body. Um, I guess previously I told you whenever we are working out, we are concerned about our diet as well. Because like we are working out, let's say two hours, 
five times per week. We know that, I mean, we do have a goal, either it's going to be gaining more muscles or losing some fats. But at the end of the day, we know that the food that we're going to eat is going to impact um, our goal, the quality of our goal, which is going to be either losing weight or just gaining weight at some point. But yeah, your food, your exercise, they are very important as well. Another one is exercise can help you a lot to increase HDL or good cholesterol. Uh, it, can, it can actually help you to just improve your immune system functioning, promote um, this one. I don't, I'm not sure about promoting the growth of uh, new neurons in your brain. Um, as a cognitive science major, I would say that's a very broad statement because like after age two, it is just very hard to promote growth in your neurons, which is going to be your brain cells, right? But your book says that, but I feel like it's not 100% correct, but it's still, yeah. Um, and it's going to promote your cognitive functioning. Yes, that's correct. Whenever you are doing exercise, you can be even more creative. Your brain works very good, but not having new neurons. Um, this is my personal opinion, and I do have research to back it up. But yeah, um, in general, it seems like having a good exercise plan every day can help you a lot to improve your mood and general well-being. It can help you a lot to have a good sense of self-efficacy and it can improve your cognitive functioning and economic benefits. Um, okay, this one also. I'm I'm I disagree with this one as well, but and and the I mean, the discussion floor is just very open. You can just always email me. And I guess you know my style. So far, whoever emailed me, they got the answer. I would say less than five hours. Because like, if I would just get a new creative idea, I would just answer you very fast. But um, there are going to be some characteristics of people who are going to exercise. Um, here it says they are normally coming from families that practice exercise. Not necessarily. I'm not coming from a family that is practicing exercise at all. Actually, my parents, they are like, what is that? Like couch potato all the time. They love to just stay home and just watch TV without even just moving their body. I mean, this is, this is just their style. Um, and I was like that before, but I'm just trying to change. So it is not necessarily based on your family. Yes, if your family, they would be active, they can motivate you to be more active. But if it is not a habit cultivated in your family, it doesn't mean like um, you cannot do that. You can be actually the person who's going to motivate everyone in your family to do that. Um, in general, it seems like people who are going to do exercise, they're going to be, they're going to have more positive attitude um, toward physical activity. Yeah, of course. I mean, it's just all about your hormones, right? Whenever you're doing exercise, you're going to have like that kind of crazy good hormones that's going to uh, make you addicted to just exercise more and more, which is a good addiction, I would say. Um, people who are going to exercise, they're going to have a good sense of self-efficacy. Duh, of course, they're going to be more extroverted and sociable. So I'm, I'm, I wouldn't say all of them, they're going to be extroverted. No, um, it's, I mean, nothing wrong with being like introverted, right? But yes, definitely they're going to be more sociable. Um, they really like to just work out as a group or they would love to just see other people working out. Um, and they're going to have like social support from their friends and they're going to just enjoy exercise more and more. And they're going to have like, let's say, sense of responsibility at some point, which is just kind of good. But the point is, um, like not necessarily all of these boxes going to be checked for people who are going to exercise more. You see, like you might exercise a lot, but not necessarily having all of them, right? You might have another characteristic, which is going to be even better. So I would say it is just kind of generalization at some point. Um, but yeah, this is what it is. I'm just giving my opinion. I'm open to any other opinion out there. But um, at the end of the day, I guess you notice that when you are doing the exercise, you're going to have that, so that sort of social health as well. So doing exercise is going to have mental, physical, and um, social health for you.